Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a quick video today. I'm just sharing with you how I traveled from Tortola to Tobago 2024. Now, um, if you guys are familiar, I did a video before some years back where um, normally we would have used the Liat airline. For years, Liat have been flying um, from that from that area, from Tortola way down to the Caribbean islands for years now. <laughs> And um, recently, I think I think it may they may have stopped operations, um, 2023. Correct me if I'm wrong. So now they are no longer coming all the way down to. They're not even they're not even flying from Tortola, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, so what we did was we had to use a new airline called Inter Caribbean. So we flew with Inter Caribbean um, from Tortola to Antigua. Now the thing about this trip was basically kind of horrific for me for us, right? It was kind of crazy. Um, Inter-Caribbean is the airline that we used. Well, actually, when I went to the airline, that's what they gave me. I told them I wanted a cheap ticket, of course, cheap ticket to get from Tortola to Tobago, right? So the, the itinerary was the two airlines was um, Inter-Caribbean and from Antigua would, would be Caribbean Airlines. But on the day of travel, that was on a Sunday, I think. Yeah, last Sunday, the, uh, March 31st. That was um, Easter Sunday. Right, we left maybe total about an hour late, right? And in doing so, now um, when we got to Antigua, we had to hustle, we had to um, go, through, go through immigration, go through customs, get our bags, and check in with Caribbean Airlines. So we had to go through that hassle again, check in with Caribbean Airlines. We had to really, really hustle, you right? Check in with Caribbean Airlines and then go back into immigration, go back through customs. But at that point, now where um, after we went through immigration in Antigua, now we had to wait, and they were uh, actually calling for people, people to board the aircraft already on a particular flight. So I had to ask somebody, now you know, can we get um, a funny land because they were calling our flight. So they were able to push us in front, and we were able to go through um, security and stuff and get on the flight. It was a really a hustle, you know. And then the aircraft is so small. Even the Caribbean Airlines flight, um, Airlines the craft is small so we did that and then when we got to Trinidad now we had to go through customs like we had to go through well of course go through immigration go through customs again and I think we had to hustle to get something to eat because we didn't really want to lose the flight right so we just hustled to get something to eat and then go through check in with Caribbean Airlines in Trinidad yeah in Trinidad yeah and then go through um, customs again it was kind of tedious to me it was kind of hassling and so we just sat there in Trinidad now waiting to board the aircraft in Tobago. So that was the route that we took that we had to take, you know. Um, and again, to me, I spoke to the airline, the travel agency that was supposed to have been the cheapest route for us to get to Tobago, I guess, at that time of the year, you know. So that's what, it is, that's what it's like right now. So I'm even telling my husband, maybe we should... <laughs> Maybe we should um, have some kind of petition to bring Liat back. What do you think? Bring Liat back because normally, you know, I, well, I guess we were spoiled, right? We, I know a lot, a lot of us used to complain about, you know, Liat, you know, late or something, you know, but after when I went through our last trip, I don't know. It, it to me was horrific. Some people, some people might have enjoyed it, but maybe if we didn't have to hustle, you know, like how we had to hustle to get. Um, the flight in Antigua, it, it might have been so bad, but it was, to me, it was horrific, you know, and, um, but we, we got to Tobago, you know, we got to Tobago, we got all our baggage, everything came intact, that was not an issue, everything is fine, you know, so, we are here having a good time, just relaxing, enjoying the weather and stuff, you know, it's nice, um, it, it's very developed, I must say, the areas we have been, the roads are really, really good, um, it's developed, nice highway, nice roads, um, we made an attempt to go through the Scarborough, which I haven't been in that area for quite a long time, maybe 20, 30 years now. And um, it's traffic and stuff, so we didn't really bother to go through the heart of Tobago, really. We made an attempt, but we just dive both back and get out of there, you know. So we just basically in areas where, you know, we just go around. I can't remember the name of the area we are in, but it's quiet. Um, again, the road is perfect, good condition nice quiet area nice um Tobago has a sh same sort of shape like Tortola I was discussing with my daughter it's like shape of an eye you know that sort of a shape but it's a nice place um yeah don't have much footage to share but I just want to share that part you know how I go how we got traveled from um 
go to to <coughs> to Bigo 2024. Bring back Liat. <laughs> Bring back Liat. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section below if you had any experience like this. Alright, so I'll kill it though.